when new tools arrive in blender it's easy to focus on only the exciting features but being transparent about the limitations is just as important v-ray 7 for blender is a big step forward but it's not without gaps if you are considering using it in your workflow here are the current missing features and restrictions you should know about first is distributed rendering in professional studios rendering often doesn't happen on just one machine multiple computers sometimes dozens share the render load across a network this is called distributed rendering and it's crucial for speeding up deadlines on huge projects while chaos's flagship versions of v-ray in maya 3 ds max and other hosts support distributed rendering the blender integration doesn't have this feature yet for solo artists this might not matter much but for team or people with multiple pieces at home it can be a deal breaker it essentially means that for now v-ray inside blender isn't as scalable in production pipelines as as its other host applications a third limitation is platform support right now v-ray 7 for blender only runs on windows that cuts out a significant part of blender's user base since many professionals use linux for rendering farms and stability and others use mac os for design workflows cycles and ev blender's built-in engines work across windows linux and mac os so this restriction immediately makes v-ray less accessible for studios already invested in linux based render farms this is a practical roadblock finally there are some gpu restrictions worth pointing out currently v-ray gpu rendering inside blender is limited to nvidia graphics card using cuda and rtx technologies amd gpus don't um amd gpu users don't get support here which is a big contrast with cycles where both nvidia and amd are supported thanks to hip and metal backends for blender users who've invested in amd hardware especially on mac os systems with apple silicon um, this limitation makes v-ray unusable as a gpu renderer even for nvidia users vram remains a bottleneck if your gpu doesn't have enough memory large scenes will crash or force you back to cpu rendering okay i think this will be all i think the okay so the other limitations i wouldn't call that a limitation i think it has to do with pricing and stuff i don't think those ones are as huge of a problem as compared to the ones that i've left uh, uh, i have listed out here yeah and you would notice in most of my videos i i don't talk about pricing being a bottleneck anymore although to some people it might be i mean if you are going for it then you should be willing to pay whatever um, the cost may be so i don't see that as a limitation anymore and i think there were other ones that i took time to write down but i didn't find them to be much of a big problem so i i cancelled them all out i think the ones i have here are all that people are asking online if you have any other issue you can leave it in the comment sections below and hey if you are reading the comment if you are reading through the comment section and you find any body with an issue you think you can help out and if there is any error or um, info that i got wrong or anything you can you can hint me or um, correct me in the comment sections below then i'll be super excited i mean to recheck it and then see if it's something that i can refix and then put it back online until my next video